Hello fellow vintage Ray-Ban lovers out there, hope you're well and welcome to another video. So, what shall we talk about today? I think we shall talk about age. I've already done a video about age and tried to pass on some of my knowledge to you old school and new school collectors out there wanting to collect B&L vintage Ray-Bans. As a collector, and any collector will tell you the same, and if they tell you anything different, I'm calling bullshit. But they are a very competitive bunch. A very competitive bunch of people indeed. And when it comes to collecting and trying to find the best pair of vintage Ray-Ban Sunnies that money can buy or that money can't buy, they would want to tell you certain things. Certain things like how good its quality is. Certain things like it's in mint condition. Certain things like these pair of sunnies are from the 1930s or post-1999, whichever way you want to think, right? That's how they want to tell. And they want to tell you that they've got the best collection in the world. I'm telling you right now, right here, I have the best collection in the world, right? Don't let anybody else tell you otherwise. I have the best collection in the world. I don't, but I'm going to try and convince you that I do. Anyway, we're going off topic here. We're talking about age. And why I want to talk about age today is because I have something very special. I've had it for quite some time, people. Now, it's all well and good me saying that I have the earliest pair of vintage Ray-Ban sunglasses, okay? I can say that. I can say that for any of them. But what makes the difference is when you have proof. Yes, people. Proof is the number one guarantee to wipe anyone off this earth, okay? It will literally be like... <gasps> Yeah, it's one of them moments. You can't deny it, right? You can't blag it. You can't lie because it's there in black and white. And I want to show you this first of all. Now, if you've seen my other videos or if you're on Facebook, if you're a part of some of the forum pages and the group pages on Facebook that I'm part of, then you will know that I also collect posters, pamphlets, uh, information about the sunnies that I collect. And I do that because I want to have that evidence, that provenance to say, yes, these are a genuine pair of vintage Ray-Ban sunglasses. And again, I bring to you today, vintage Ray-Ban lovers out there, evidence, provenance, information. Yes, indeed. So, without further ado, let us look at what I've got. So, let me just fold this bad boy up. And here we have it. Okay, let me get out of the camera and show you exactly what I have. Here is the pamphlet I have. Um, if you work or play outdoors, your eyes need this safe, scientific glare protection. Okay? That's the front. That's the back. Okay? I want to bring your attention to this here, where it says V41. Okay? I'm presuming that's version. But I do know that 4-1 means 1941. 
Remember that year? 1941. Okay. Right. Let's open it up now, shall we? Here we have... Boom! Ray-Ban. Sunglasses. Bosch and Lom. Right? Whole load of information there that I can't be asked to read. Alright? Let's open it up a little bit more. Yeah? So, let's, let's just fold this. Hang on. Here we go. Glare condition sunlight. Okay, and at the bottom it has some famous or Z listers, what we would call in these days A listers, B listers, C listers, Z listers, whatever. Famous people from the time. Okay, we have Pat Lawson, who was the women's skeet champion 1938, 39, and 1940. Captain L.G. Fritz, who was uh, the Vice President of TWA Airlines, and so on and so forth. There's a whole load of people there. Yeah, if you want to go ahead and do your own research, this, basically, these people date this pamphlet to 1941. Alright? So that's that. Then if we flip it over... We then get to the nitty gritty, all right? We get to the real McCoy, the real information that you've all been waiting for. Here we go. Boom! All right? Sunglasses. So what we have here is the stroller at the top. Small glass in zyanite frame. Small glass in white zyanite frame. Large glass, skeet glass, Shooting glass, large glass with gold filled frame, small glass with gold filled frame, and the hook over gold filled frame. So, this one here, this one, this one, this one, and this one, we all know because they are part of the metal family in vintage Ray Ban sunglasses. We all know that. They're still available up until 1999, okay? But I want to bring your attention to this one here. Small glass, white xylenite frame, which basically means white plastic frame, okay? This is basically a pair of vintage B&L Ray-Ban plastic small metals. Let's call them plastic aviators, okay? In the same shape as your normal metal aviators, okay? This one here, right there. 1941, remember that. Booyah! We have a case. You know, you know where this is going. You know where this is going. We have a case, okay? Indicative of the time, okay? Very nice leather, brown leather, okay? Very nice indeed. Ray-Ban logo, yeah? Anti-glare, made in USA, Bush and Lum. Let's crack it open. Pop, okay? Bang! Very nice indeed. Mmm, smells good. Okay, let's crack it open. Here we have it, yeah? Let's put that to one side for a minute. Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's not, let's not get too excited, all right? So, here we have it, yeah? Now, let me take it out of this plastic protection. Let me show you the, uh, the cleaning cloth that comes with it. Here we have it, Ray-Ban, nice little cleaning cloth. Little bit of literature on there. That's it, nice. Let's get rid of that, boom. Let's get to what we've come for. We have come for these. The small glass, white xylenite frame. 
1941. RB3, probably. RB2. Let's have a look. Sorry, tell a lie. RB2. Green lenses. Like so. You want me to put it on? Let me put it on for you. I think they're a bit small for me. But I'll put them on anyway. And there we have it. The first. There we go. The first plastic aviator, 1941, with proof. No one now can deny the fact that I have one of the earliest vintage Ray-Ban sunglasses in my collection. Nobody. I don't even know how much this is worth. Further proof shows inside, let me show you here, just here it says BNL made in USA, just there. Okay, as I said, RB2 green lenses, a plastic white frame with uh, hinge points here and here. Also hinge points in the middle of the frame which is holding in place the nose pad metal holder. The nose pads themselves are made of Bakelite however they are a different colour to the normal brown Bakelite that you would normally find on an early pair of um, metal sunglasses very nice indeed at the end of the um, temples we have grooves which have been cut out of the plastic presumably just for traction so that they don't slip off the wearers face as easy and that is pretty much it. 1941. Very nice indeed. I'm very proud of these sunglasses that I've managed to pick them up. And it's good that I also have the information to prove that they are a genuine pair of B&L Ray-Ban sunglasses from the era and from the year that I have mentioned. And there you go folks, those are my earliest pair of vintage Ray-Ban sunglasses. Now I've been banging on about 1941, okay? That's all you've been hearing about, 1941. You can't really get any earlier than that, you understand? However, you can! And I'll tell you why you can. We've got this, okay? Now, I'm not bullshitting here, people. This is all genuine business. All genuine information, okay? I haven't made this up. I ain't making this up. Right. Here we go. This was in the case. So, we have the guarantee, yeah? Let's flip it over. It's got all of that literature there. But what I want to show you, if we can get a little bit closer, you see that? We have 11 four, zero. I'm gonna take that as November 
40. Alright? So, these beautiful pair of sunglasses I'm dating from November 1940 to December 1941. Alright? I'm going to say they're 1941 because I have the proof that they are 1941 from the pamphlet. I'm also going to say they're 1940 because I have the proof from the guarantee card that was within the sunglasses case. Alright, that came with these pair of sunglasses. You can't deny I've got something special here. Um, the next video is going to be my youngest pair of vintage Ray-Ban sunglasses and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, please like, please share, please comment, do everything that you need to do. You know it's YouTube, you know how it works and I'll see you soon. Peace.